This week's Ask Dr. Drury comes from a newly diagnosed patient who wants to know what are the key things that I need to know. Well, broadly, the first very, very important thing uh, for a myeloma patient uh, who just is hearing that word for the first time needs to know that myeloma is in 2019 a very treatable condition. We have many uh, treatment options. And with the options that we have available, uh, one can expect uh, for a majority of the patients that there would be uh, an outcome of five to 10 years or, or even better with most of the standard approaches without even considering some of the uh, newer options. And so what are some of the other things that, that you need to know? Well, you, you need to know uh, about wh what, what should I uh, do to get the best information? Well, I think that when you're first diagnosed, it is really important to reach out to try to either see a myeloma expert or to seek a consult with a myeloma expert. Your local hematologist oncologist can most likely to provide, provide the treatments that you need, but it's very good and really uh, highly recommended to get input from an expert, number one, to confirm that initial diagnosis, and then number two, to, uh, to see what would be your best first treatment option because that first step in using therapy is, is key to try to achieve the best outcomes. Another thing that can be frightening for patients who are first diagnosed is the thought of having to undergo an autologous stem cell transplant. And in this case, there is some good news where we now realize that if patients have an excellent response with uh, some of the newer combinations that we have available, uh, we may not need to use autologous stem cell transplant as a routine option. And so I think that this is really uh, great news. But a key thing that uh, is uh, talked about all the time right now is what is going to be the impact of some of the newer therapies such as the immune therapies. And we, we have several right now, CAR T cell therapies, therapies which are called BITES, and a variety of other monoclonal antibodies. These are very important and very, very active uh, therapies which will undoubtedly extend uh, the remissions and outcomes for uh, many of our newly uh, diagnosed patients. So very important to be aware of those and follow with what is the broad recommendation for all myeloma patients, which is knowledge is power. Through the International Myeloma Foundation, we strongly recommend that you become as informed as possible about the disease, uh, the diagnosis, the testing, and the treatment options so that you can have access to the best options. Now, finally, I would say that myeloma is not an easy disease. It's a complicated disease, and it takes a lot of endurance to work through all of the different things uh, some of the, the, the issues with the disease, issues with the side effects from the treatment. And so you need to try to stay strong, work uh, with your family and friends, with your doctors, with the support team members, uh, with the uh, nurses who help you in the clinic uh, to establish what I think is very important, which is resilience, the ability to bounce back from ups and downs that come along the way and move forward in a strong fashion uh, to continue to seek the best and to see uh, that you can have the best outcome.